Welcome back to another free CAD tutorial. In this video, we'll be exploring the Sketcher workbench and learning how to create arcs in a sketch using two different methods. So, let's dive in. Before we begin, make sure you have FreeCAD open and the Sketcher workbench activated. If you don't have FreeCAD installed, head over to the FreeCAD website and download it. Once you're in the Sketcher workbench, you'll find a variety of tools on the toolbar. Add new document. Create a new sketch. Select plane and click OK. In Solver Messages, it displays empty sketch. Turn off auto constraints. Turn on grid. You can provide grid size here. Select an arc tool. There are two methods to make an arc. Method 1 allows us to create an arc using the center point and end points. With the arc tool selected, click on the center point of the desired arc location. Then, move your cursor to determine the starting point of the arc and click. Finally, move your cursor to set the end point of the arc and click again. Congratulations! You've just created an arc using the center and end points. In Solver Messages, there are five constraints. We need to provide these five constraints to make fully constrained sketch. You can see arc element is added. Five constraints are. One is for elemental property, here element is arc and its property is radius or diameter that we need to fix. Two horizontal constraints for these two end points. Two vertical constraints for these two end points. Click on this constraint tool to provide radius to the arc. You can see that one constraint is added. You can change the dimension by clicking on it. Select Horizontal Constraint tool and provide constraints to two end points. Degrees of freedoms are reduced to two. Click on Vertical Constraint tool to provide vertical constraint to two endpoints of the arc. Sketch is fully constrained now. Method 2 allows us to create an arc using the endpoints and a rim point. To access this method, click on the arc tool in the toolbar. With the arc tool selected, click on the starting point of the arc. Then, move your cursor to set the endpoint of the arc and click again. Next, 
move your cursor to determine the rim point of the arc and click once more. Well done! You've just created an arc using the end points and rim point. You can see 5 degrees of freedom for this second arc. Do the same process to make this arc fully constrained. You can see second arc element here. Provide horizontal constraint. Provide vertical constraint. Two degrees of freedom are remaining. Sketch color is changed to green. It indicates that sketch is constrained fully. You can see all constraints details here. You can change the dimension by double clicking on it. And there you have it. You've learned how to create arcs in the FreeCAD Sketcher workbench using two different methods center and end points, and end points with a rim point. Additionally, we explored how to edit and modify arcs to suit your design needs. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more free CAD tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Happy sketching in free CAD.